And with the death, death toll still climbing, many of us want to know just how close are scientists to actually finding a vaccine. There are now 100 vaccine trials underway, and here to tell us where that research stands is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi. And Dr. Nandi, thank you for being with us this Monday afternoon. Please tell us something uh, promising about the candidates, if you can. Absolutely, Glenda and Alan. You know, I have recently talked about Moderna. For those of you who watched, is that they've been cleared for their second phase for testing of their vaccine candidate, which is called mRNA-1273. The initial phase one trial shows that the vaccine had the potential uh, to really prevent COVID-19, which is, which is fantastic news. Another company making headway is the Chinese uh, biopharmaceutical company Sinovac Biotech, and they tested their experimental vaccine on monkeys and found it provided immunity. And their phase two clinical trials really started back in May. Other front runners including, uh, include the pharmaceutical giant Johnson & Johnson. They plan to start trials of their vaccine candidate this September. And uh, plus, French pharmaceutical giant Sanofi is partnered with GlaxoSmithKline, uh, another pharmaceutical company, and now has a vaccine in preclinical phase. So lots of, of exciting uh, vaccines that could be coming our way. Yeah, that is pretty exciting news. So, Doc, we've also heard about a type of Trojan horse vaccine. What, what can you tell us about that? So um, this vaccine actually comes from uh, CanSino Biologics and China's Institute of Biotechnology. They're looking at using an adenovirus, which is a weakened common flu virus, or I'm sorry, common cold virus, as a type of Trojan horse. And they hope it'll trigger the immune system to fight off the virus with antibodies. Preliminary results are promising, showing it's effective. But it, this vaccine candidate still needs to go through phase two of human clinical trials. But a pretty innovative uh, idea. So, Dr. Nandy, what about the two vaccine candidates that say they could deliver by fall or even end of the year? Where are they now? So, Glenda, one of them is the vaccine candidate BNT162. That's the name from the German company Bio, BioNTech. They have partnered with Pfizer, which is a giant pharmaceutical company, and their vaccine candidate uses messenger DNA to help the body create antibodies. It's currently in stage two clinical trials and they're planning on producing millions of doses this year. The other vaccine, vaccine candidate that also plans to produce millions of doses this year and they're looking to do this as early as September is from Oxford University and they're collaborating with the pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca. They're still in phase one and phase two of clinical trials, human clinical trials that is, and volunteers are still being enrolled to test out the vaccine which is also made from an adenovirus. As for how these trials are going, we do not have anything new to report yet, uh, but hopefully we'll get some data soon. Have to be, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, be honest, a lot of few, uh, promising treatments, but I have to be honest that many potential vaccines, uh, Glenda and Allen, never get past phase two and phase three of human clinical trials because they have to prove that they work in large scale clinical trials that include anywhere between 100 to 3,000 patients. That's the challenge. But here's the good news, right? You're asking for good news, is that with over 100 vaccines in the works, I'm really confident that we'll find one to be safe and effective in preventing COVID-19. And, and with that, I think we'll, be, we'll get beyond this and, and really be able to go back to what we call normal and, and, and uh, defeat the virus. Encouraging to hear you say that, Dr. Nandy. Thank you so much.